Uh, what's up everybody, Dr. McKay here, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet, the Indigo Disc DLC. This is going to be playthrough number two, I hope you all enjoyed the first playthrough. And this time we are going into the, an, a new biome, we're going into the mountainous region. And already got a Tyro behind me waiting just to be captured, so if you enjoy the content, uh, feel free to hit that like button, don't forget to comment your thoughts and subscribe, I am trying to reach 1000 subscribers. As you can see, I'm joined by my shiny Charizard for this, obviously, this playthrough. And I'll be using, obviously, the Pokemon I only catch within this region for most of the stuff. Unless I struggled, then I will use my previous champion Pokemon from the main game. So, today's plan is to go through, catch some Pokemon in this region, try and do this uh, Elite Four member in this zone, and try and get some BP to unlock those magical star pokemon in each region so let's get going first of all let's uh catch this tyro because it's just staring at me and it's a critical capture first catch of the day is a critical nice i got a couple scraggy there as well that we need to catch Alright, so before we actually do go any further, what is the gym leader's stuff in this one? Metal. So we want to basically get some fire Pokemon going. They'll probably have some water to, you know, sort me out here, so. Say that worked good. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
good. Let's try and take on the Elite Four leader. Alright, welcome to the Canyon Plaza. We're the team that supports Ameris of the Elite Four. And you're Dr. McKay, right? One of the BB League's challengers. Well, that's correct. That's me. You need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trials here. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Duty received, I know it. Now here she comes, our very own Amaris. Dr. McKay, yes? As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. A change of location is required, come. The decision to allow you to take on the league was irregular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the academy allowed it and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. The Elite Trial I devise starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You will need to fly around the sky on the terrarium while riding a Pokemon. Reach the goal with the prescribed time and you'll pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite rings and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly towards the goal. Can you verify that you're ready and willing to take on my flying time trial? I am ready. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of this ball. Ah, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Aegis, yes? Agaius, yes? Mm -hmm. This is for you to eat. Right on is brimming with power. What what your a guy has just consumed is a supplement that enhances the Pokemon's flight capability. I prepared it using the leaves of a mysterious plant that we found growing in the terrarium. <clears throat> your 
A goddess will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only for the duration of the trial. Right, yeah. You, you have all you need to begin the challenge. I wish you luck. Looks fun, doesn't it? I missed one. <sighs> ah, that was impressive display of punctuality, I must admit. It was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. Now a change of location is required once again. Come. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Yes. Let's see if I can do it with the Pokemon I have on me. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Is this assumed? There is one thing I wanted to ask you. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you, Dr. McKay? Uh, I say he's my rival. So you consider him a worthy adversary, I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Our battle starts now. A dug true and a... Skarmory. Interesting. Ooh, that was quick. Damn, Charles up in the first round. What? Try magma. Oh, 
Oh, one HP. Hang in there, Magma. Get a fire blast off. Come on. Come on. Nice. That's an Empoleon. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, there goes Flygon. Damn. Crap, there goes Magma. Jesus, Grass Knot as well. My God. God damn.
This Metagross is tanky, I like it. Oh, speaking of Metagross. Let's see if I can take out the Metagross in one powerful hit. Give me that! Come, Charizard, buddy. Don't let me down. This Ren Reniclus is good my head
Uh, I should get it this one. There we have it. Victory! I didn't have to change my team. That nah, Metagross fucking saved my ass. Good job, Metagross. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. You got that, Brad. How frustrating. Alright then. Time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. I will give you this TM2. It contains my favorite move of mine. Hard press. Okay. Hard press. The target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or the like to inflict inflict damage. The more HP the target has left, the greater the move's power. Interesting. Time for me to go. So long. Yo, yo, champ in the making. So, that's two Elite Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Amara sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amaris is, and as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a mile, a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. Ah, oh, seems like things are going well with the BB League. <clears throat> right, Dr. McKay? What's up, mighty champion scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. I'd be so disappointed if Dr. McKay had gotten weaker. But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Dr. McKay, go all the way. Don't. Go losing. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't even make it to me. Hehehe. <laughs> Someone's good and rod up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? I better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining Elite 2. Very nice. Let's see if I can beat this with my team. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Dr. McKay, right? One of the BB's League Challengers. That's correct. You need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Yep. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. 
Coming! Oh, if it isn't Dr. McKay, I am so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me, I'll show you to the trial site. What do I have to face in this trial, I wonder? Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I really am sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League, Dr. McKay. Of course, it's true that this is a quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. But mainly, I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun, so let's get to it and have some fun. The trial that I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. Seems easy enough. Are you ready to attempt the Pokemon quiz? I am ready. Great, then I'll just get everything ready. That's a Pikachu. Question one. Alright, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favourite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. And what? And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon, well known for producing electricity within its body. But in which part of its body does it store the electric electricity it generates? Go right for the body part do you think is correct. Cheeks, yes. Ding, 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 you got it. Pikachu stores the, its electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you'll get a little shock, but don't you think they're just super round and cute? Now then, I think you're, we're ready to move on to the next question. That is a Venonat. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you'd think it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even on the darkest of nights, Venna is able to use a certain part of his body, like radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. <clears throat> what part of Venna's body acts like radar? Alright. So either the eyes of the antenna. Antennae. Let's go with the eyes. Yes, yay! I got it right. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. It's Venonat's big eyes that serve as radar. Isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees the whole world we can't see? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Sinistia. Getting weary of my quiz, how about a cup of tea? Or maybe three, th or maybe these three Sinistia siblings. Here's question three. Sinistia like to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these three Sinistia is an antique form, Sinistia, meaning it's found a real antique cup. So which and an, which Sinistia is the real deal? Uh, Trying to think. Spin the middle. That one. <clears throat> ding, ding, ding. You spotted it. That's right. An antique form Sinister can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of this cup. But it doesn't matter whether they're antique form or phony form. They are all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next question. This is the Meteor Pokemon, Minior. It comes in all kinds of different colours, you know. I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish Minior for me, McKay. Alright, mix yourself up real good. Alright. Oh, 
Not much of a quiz, more of a guessing game, but yeah. Ding ding, you got it. Even after they return to their meet your form, you still manage to find the right one. Aren't mini or adorable? Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. That's a grumble. Oh look, here comes Granble. Maybe he's heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweet is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question five, will involve Gramble here. Gramble is quite delicate and lovable Pokemon, of course, but can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Gramble, which part of his body does I use as a pillow? Tummy? Ding, 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 that's exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. When I curl up to it, it's so soft and cozy, we both fall asleep in just seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. You managed to get all five of my questions right, which means congratulations, Dr. McKay. You've officially cleared my elite trial. Why don't we head back to the plaza? I don't understand where they come out to the woods in the first place. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Since you passed my late trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? Yes, let's go. Got it. No time to waste then. Right, let's get to our positions. Okay, this should be far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Dr. McKay. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, ah, let's see. First of all, I should tell you, I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. They're just nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and still anything too caustic or cut and just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know all this already, right, Dr. McKay? Now for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding after all. <clears throat> You're about to learn the cuteness is real strength. This time I'll be facing you in my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. God damn, flame for Prim Arena. Ooh. 
I'm not sure what type of slow bro is. Yo, Metagross. Let's get a little pre-marina, shall we? God damn. Damn, Ice Beam got me there. <clears throat> An excadrill. That not good. Slow bro is what I need to do.
shit. My God. Fuck's sake. Got me. That's slow, bro. What's the slow, bro, we do? I don't know. Hang on, I need to check that slow, bro, weakness. Oh, what it is, should I say? So it's just psychic, I'm guessing. Dom wasn't much use there, was he? <laughs> Try this again, shall we? This time, two level 100 ticket turns and a level 100 Umbreon should be good enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've already done this. Get rid of that slow bro.
That damn sliver with that crypto. Son of a Fucking slow bro needs to die! <laughs> There we go. Jesus.
Yes, I'm getting that. You son of a bitch. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Screw you, Excadrill. Screw you. That's what I'm talking about. Hammers for the win. That's why Tinker Tongue is Tinker Tongue is my favorite Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Yes. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Dr. McKay, Dr. McKay, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling out? Ooh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. <laughs> ah, they were super cute. Hee <laughs> for sure. And I get the best views as a trainer since I'm so close to the action. Your Pokemon are very cute as well, Dr. McKay. Phew, you know, it's just not right for two people to hog all the cut cutiness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone? Ooh, this one is just too cute. I'm going to make myself a backup copy of th all three. <laughs> I'll give you this as well as proof of your cuteness. Wow, well, thank you very much. You really are very strong when you get serious in battle, Dr. McKay. I wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against the strongest trainers in our school. I'll, keep, I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Mm, Devan and that. Brilliant. And here's Drayton. Yo, 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 champ in the making. What up? That's three of the Elite Four you're, you've trounced now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Lacey's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. You know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it had such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your elite fourth match is going to be against me. Nice of you to save the best for last. You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. And with that victory out the way, there is a gloom about, about the house. Let me see if I can catch a gloom. Gloom, gloom, gloom. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> what, no gloom? Oh, gloom. Hello, gloom. It's like the last one I need for the oddish tr set, so. Gloom, gloom, gloom. Nice. Right then, guys, with that, as I was saying, with that victory, we've only got one more Elite Four member left to do until we get to face our rival, Kieran. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Playthrough Part 2. 
Uh, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe on YouTube. And feel free to hit that follow button on Twitch to watch me play live. With all that said, I've been Dr. McKay. Thank you all for watching. And until the next stream. I'll catch you then. Cheers and goodbye.